Thank you for reviewing Taximeter by Planet Coops. In this video, we will examine two common use cases for the app. In the first case, we will select one of the predefined presets supplied with the app and run through the sequence of events that take place during a typical hire. In the second case, we will define our own custom preset using the custom preset wizard for our fictitious limo service, Acme Limos. Let's start by launching the app. On the first launch, the app requests access to your location. Location services are needed by the app to be able to calculate the distance travelled. The app warns us that it's limited to a maximum fare of 10 and that this limitation can be removed by making an in-app purchase. On the first three launches, the app opens to reveal the user menu. The menu can be accessed from the main display by swiping the screen to the right. The app is designed to be used outdoors in a vehicle. If you're performing the review indoors, you may not be able to get past the waiting for a valid GPS fix message. The accuracy of the GPS location has to reach 20 meters or less to clear this message. If you're in this situation, you can allow forced hires by enabling Menu, Settings, GPS Settings, Allow Forced Hires. To place the app into hired mode, you then press and hold the hired hotspot in the center of the screen until a confirmation dialog appears confirming the action. I can't show you this step as I'm fortunate enough to have a valid GPS fix even though I'm indoors. Let's look at the layout of the main display. In the top left is the name of the active preset and tariff description where one has been provided. There are several touch sensitive areas or hotspots used to control the app. The tariff hotspot is used to select the effective tariff. The extras increment hotspot is used to increase the extras. And the extras decrement hotspot is used to decrease the extras. There are three operating mode hotspots for hire, hired and stopped. And finally there's the total fare hotspot at the bottom of the screen. In the bottom right is a GPS quality indicator which is coloured red for an accuracy worse than 20 meters, yellow for 10 to 20 meters and green for less than 10 meters. Let's select one of the many predefined presets and see the meter in operation. Open the user menu. Select settings. Select country filter. And pick United States from the list. Navigate back to settings. Select Taximeter Preset, which is now filtered to just those in the United States, and select New York City. Navigate back to settings and press Done. The active preset is New York City. And the active tariff, Tariff 1, is the standard city rate. The default extras are 80 cents. We will now place the meter into hired mode by pressing the hired hotspot. The initial fare or flag drop is $2.50. As we're not actually moving anywhere, the meter will only charge for waiting time, which for New York City Tariff 1 is 50 cents per minute. While we're waiting for the first minute of waiting time to occur, let's take another look at the settings. 
As you can see, there are settings governing OBD, the onboard diagnostics interface, GPS, the user interface, higher logging, and more. These are all documented in the accompanying user guide. Under interface settings, we can enable alternate meter labels and even change the color of the LED bitmaps. Let's make them blue. A waiting time charge has occurred and the fare is now $3. As you can see the waiting time indicator has appeared. To stop the time meter we press the stopped hotspot and to total the fare at the end of the hire we press the total fare hotspot. The meter can now be placed back into for hire mode by pressing the for hire hotspot ready for the next hire. This concludes the first use case. In the second use case, we will define our own custom preset using the custom preset wizard for our fictitious limo service, Acme Limos. Open the user menu and select Settings, Custom Preset Settings. Change the name of the custom preset to Acme Limos. Change the total tariffs to 1. Select Custom Preset Wizard. Acme Limos has an initial charge or flag drop of $2, charges $2 a mile and $0.20 cents per minute of waiting time. Change the flag drop to 2. The meter increment is 10 cents, so leave it as it is. Change the amount per mile to 2. And change the amount per hour to 20 cents. Per minute and press save. Press cancel to close the dialog. Press settings to return to settings and change the taxi meter preset to custom. Custom you'll always find at the top of the list and this will make our customised preset the active one. Press settings to return to settings and press done. We can see Acme Limos is now the active preset. We'll now place the meter into hired mode by pressing the hired hotspot. The initial fare or flag drop is $2 and as we're not actually moving anywhere the meter will only charge for waiting time which is 20 cents per minute. Since the meter increment is 10 cents a waiting time charge will occur every 30 seconds. There's our first waiting time charge. There's our second. To stop the time meter, 
we press the stopped hotspot, and to total the fare at the end of the hire, we press the total fare hotspot. The meter can now be placed back into for hire mode by pressing the for hire hotspot, ready for the next hire. If you open the user menu and select about, you will find details of the last hire at the bottom of the view. This concludes the second use case. Let's take Acme Limos out on the road so you can see it in action. Right, so we're ready for the road test. I've mounted the camera on a tripod. I'm hoping it doesn't fall over during videoing. So I'm going to place the meter into hired mode. And away we go. I'm actually driving quite slowly now as we drive out of a housing estate. So we've had a first charge for 30 seconds of waiting time. We've just covered 88 yards. Now sitting at a junction waiting to turn out. So still sitting at a junction waiting to turn right. So there's another waiting time charge. Right, I'm just pulling out of the junction. Right, we just had a distance charge. I'm now on a uh, quite a busy major road, so we're, the meter is incrementing now on distance. Yeah, Two dollars a mile equates to ten cents for every eighty-eight yards. Now travelling at uh, 50 miles an hour.
fast approaching a roundabout, so I'm slowing down. I'm happy to come to a stop. Just pulling out. to 50 miles an hour again. I'm now going to pull into a parking lay-by just to terminate this journey. Uh, coming to a halt. I'm now stopping. I've now stopped. So we should see a waiting time charge. And there's our waiting time charge. I'll just stop the meter now. And we'll total the fare. If we go and look at the, uh, let's, let's actually end the uh, higher. We can go and look at the figures for that higher. And we can see that we travelled 4,260 yards and so our, our chargeable chargeable waiting time at the bottom, CY is, is the chargeable yards, was 4,048 yards and our chargeable time was 120 seconds, so we had two minutes of waiting time charges and we had 4,048 yard of distance charges, making a total of $7. And that ends this road test.